Hi, it's Helen Sylvia from Women's and Girls Emergency Centre talking to you from Gadigal Land. May has been an incredibly important, reflective and busy month. Starting on the 2nd of May this, this month, we had Walk for Wayjack, of which we um, raised an incredible amount of money thanks to our very generous community of walkers and supporters and others in the community who contributed to this immense effort. Thank you to everybody. Of course, May is also the month of Domestic Violence Prevention Month. And a, and a time to think about the underlying causes and drivers that create the conditions of which gender-based violence occurs and how we as a community can rally together and take action and create language and dialogue to prevent gender-based violence from occurring. This ties in so deeply with WAGEX, um, mission to end gender-based violence in a generation and it's only by working with a whole of community that we can do that. Speaking of a whole of community, we also celebrated National Volunteers Week for this month of May. And I'd like to make a special shout out and a thank you to our 340 amazing volunteers who are registered with WAJEC for the tireless work that you do. Uh, I know that's for some of you, um, you're, you are long-term and regular volunteers and while for others you've just registered and just starting on your journey with us. But again, it takes a community to make change and we couldn't do what we do without you, so thank you. Finally, I'd like to take a moment to reflect on the significance of May um, in this country, particularly in the context of our, our First Nations communities, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. We have celebrated National Sorry Day, and I use the word celebrate with a sense of tension, because while we reflect on the um, impacts of colonisation and genocide that has been um, inflicted and imposed on our First Nations custodians of this country, we still have such a great and immense amount of work to do as colonisers and settlers in this country to bridge that gap between um, the, the generations of, of, of trauma and disadvantage that's occurred. Whilst at the same time celebrating the longest continuing culture that we have on this earth, the strength and the resilience of that cultural knowledge and the um, determination of um, our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander colleagues and communities across Australia, um, in Gadigal land and across this nation um, as we work together and we as non-Aboriginal organisations stand beside um, in our allyship towards um, an effort around not just saying sorry but turning sorry into an action and into the change that needs to be made.